I'm sure you've heard of asbestosis, which is when the fibres from asbestos ends up in your lungs and it scratches, scratches at the pleural layers, causing wounds, then heal and well, cause scar tissue. But this asbestos fibres, they never leave. Stay there forever. A bit like forever chemicals. They stay in your body forever. And as such, uh, eventually your lung capacity reduces because it's been replaced with scar tissue. No longer efficient. But well, there's a new disease, rather concerning. A new disease caused by plastics. Plasticosis. Obviously. Well, it's been discovered in seabirds um, at the moment. I do wonder whether or not it will be harmful to us humans as well. Who knows? Maybe. Because it's only just, well, not just been discovered in seabirds recently. So the Natural History Museum scientists say that this plasticosis, which scars the digestive tract, not your lungs, might have your good pleural layers, no, your digestive tract, and is likely to affect, affect other types of birds as well. Oh, yeah. oh, again, I asked, is this dangerous to us humans? Well, a new disease caused solely by um, plastics has been discovered in seabirds, and the birds are identified as having the disease named plasticosis have scarred digestive tracts from ingesting waste. Now scientists at the Natural History Museum, that's what they say, their discovery. Well it is the first recorded instance of a specifically plastic induced fibrosis in wild animals, that's what the researchers are saying, and the plastic pollution is becoming so prolific. We know that these microplastics are everywhere. They're, you know, they're in the fish that we eat, animals, in us. Pretty much from degrading plastics. Now, they don't really degrade. They, they basically break down into smaller particles of themselves, hence microplastics. They don't really biodegrade unless you get like the vegetable type plastics. You know, ones that do actually biodegrade. But no, they just end up smaller bits of themselves. And they end up in you, or your food. Well, plastic pollution is becoming so prolific that the scarring was widespread across different ages of birds, according to the study published in the Journal of Hazardous Materials. The young birds were found to have the disease, and it be you know thought that chicks were fed the plastic pollution by parents accidentally bringing it back in the food. Now, scientists, including the uh, Natural History Museum, Dr. Alex Bond and Dr. Jennifer Lavers, uh, studied uh, flesh-footed share waters from uh, Australia's Lord Howe Island to look at the relationship between the levels of ingested plastic and the preventriculous organ, the first part of a bird's stomach. And they found that more plastic a bird had ingested, the more scarring it had. So there's the connection. The disease can lead to a, a gradual breakdown of the tubular glands in the proventriculus. Losing these glands can cause the birds to become more vulnerable to infection and parasites and affect their ability to digest food and absorb some vitamins. A research is called the fibrotic disease, uh, plasticosis, to make it clear that it was caused by plastic in our environment. What a sensible move, if you ask me. Just like we call, well, asbestosis, because it's from asbestos. Now, asbestos is actually a, natu a natural fibre. That's mined. Not so much these days, for obvious reasons. Because obviously it's very dangerous to people. That was used in insulation, even in schools. You know, the fibre insulation in the, in the suspended ceilings, a lot of that had asbestos in. And when birds ingest small pieces of the plastic, they found it inflames the digestive tract over time, and the persistent inflammation causes tissues to become scarred and disfigured, affecting digestion, growth and survival. The natural materials found in the stomachs of birds, such as the pumice stones, did not cause the same problems, no leading to scientists to label this specifically plastic-caused disease, a, you know, a plastic cause. Well, Bond, 
principal curator in charge of birds at the Natural History Museum said, while these birds can look healthy on the outside, they're not doing very well on the inside. No. So I would say this is a bit of a concern, and we don't know yet whether or not this is potentially dangerous for us mere humans. What do you reckon? Please leave it in the comments down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, you do it on the, you know, Patreon, or you can buy us a coffee, and the link's down below. And if I can actually get this channel funded by those, um, oh, crowdfunding sources, I will take the adverts off these, um, off the video. Yeah, I demonetize the videos. YouTube will love that. Well, the secret word at the end of this video has to do with, well, asbestos, like we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Like pig huts. The old arcs. A lot of them used to be asbestos. A lot of farm buildings, etc. Roofs, what have you. Asbestos. I'm thinking about pigs. Yeah. And one individual who's been in the news quite a bit just recently is Isabel Oakshaw. Richard Tyson's missus of the Reform Party. And she's, well, in the press at the moment because, well, she's leaked a load of WhatsApp messages of Matt Hancock. Well, why he gave them to her, I don't know. But anyway, that's another story. God, she obviously had a moment, uh, another moment of madness, just like the Nightingale Hospitals. But that's another story. Well, it brings me to pigs. And the fact that uh, she accused um, David Cameron, one of the previous prime ministers, of having sex with a pig. It was nicknamed Pig Gate. So today's word of today is uh, Pig Gate. <laughs> well, if you want to support the channel, um, don't forget there's obviously the Patreon or buy us a coffee. And like I say, I'll demonetize the channel if I can get enough support that way. Um, but other, other, other things we're doing, we're doing a rewilding here in France. I'll get my worms out in a minute. Um, we're planting a thousand trees on two hectares of land here in France. Um, it's rewilding. We're planting trees for the habitat. And um, if you'll be part of that, you can buy a tree. And do it by the, via the GoFundMe link in the description down below. And if you'll be a part of that, we will actually plant a tree on your behalf, but also put a sign with the tree, pretty much saying it's your tree, actually, or name, or, or memory, or it may be in memory of a loved one, or something like that. Whatever you like. Really. Well, the links are in the description down below. Well, it's time for me to go. But remember, the word of today is uh, pig gate. Oh.